In this video, we're going to pack a vintage and fragile apothecary jar. I like to take a sheet of tissue paper from the corner and just run my hand down through it and kind of make it long and narrow so that I can wrap it around the fragile parts. And for this, I'm just using regular household tape. Next, we wrap it in some tissue paper to protect the finish. It doesn't do anything to protect from breakage. It just protects the finish and makes a nice presentation for the buyer. So what can we do with this lid? Again, using a sheet of tissue paper starting from the corner, I elongated it and wrap it around the fragile top of the lid. We're going to turn it upside down for shipping. But first, let's separate the lid from the jar itself. And, and to do that, I'm using a small styrofoam plate and a utility knife and just cutting an X in the center basically a slot to put the top of the lid through. I'll show you. Being careful, we turn the lid upside down again and slide it through the slot that we made in the styrofoam plate. And let's add a little more tissue paper underneath the rim of the lid. Next comes the bubble wrap, and I'm using large one half inch bubble wrap. And you can find links for all my shipping supplies in the description below this video. Let's wrap the first section of bubble wrap around the base of the apothecary jar. And I'm using Scotch heavy duty shipping tape for this part. And that small piece of bubble wrap that we had left over well, let's make use of it. Part of it is going to hold the lid on, and that little extra square that we cut off, well, it's going to go on the bottom of the jar. Then tape everything in place. It's always good to take measurements before you go find the box that you need. In this case, we're using a 12 by 10 by 8. This is an eBay box. Let's get the box assembled. When I assemble a box, I always cross tape the bottom. And I add an extra piece of tape on the side seam. You can either put packing peanuts in the bottom of your box or air pillows. My preference lately has been air pillows. And then using the large bubble wrap again, we lay three sheets one direction and two or three sheets the opposite direction. I like to add a thank you label. It says thank you, enjoy, shop again soon, Avante Avenue. We still have lots of room around the apothecary jar. So one of the techniques I like to do is to roll the bubble wrap down on each side. But as you can see, we still need to fill in with more packing material. On this day, I'm using packing peanuts, but as I said, I also like to use air pillows. No matter what packing material that you're using, you want to make sure you're packing it a little bit over full so that when you close the lid, it presses it down just slightly. For more pack and ship videos, check out our playlist on Avante Avenue. And thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and I'll see you soon.